Hi and welcome to the New Leaf Wellness Podcast. My name's KP. And I'm Air. Sawadee Ka. Sawadee Ka. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. It comes up all the time. And it's about fruit, fructose. And today, hopefully, we can dispel five fructose myths. Yes. But before we get started... There's this really cool comedian. He's been around quite, for quite a while now, right? Nate, Nate Bagazzi, or Bagetsi. Nate's been around for a long, long time, but he's blowing up just recently on the internet. And he, I, I took this section <laughs> there. It's very, very funny. And sometimes, and I, I mean, I, I'm not mocking anyone, but you have to laugh when a 150 kilogram person comes up to you and says, too much sugar. I think there's too much sugar in this smoothie, right? And I, I'm like, ah, oh, well, you know, and then I have to go through the whole process. But Nate Bogazzi does this thing where he switched from candy, and this is what some of his friends said. Let's take a look. What I did is like I was starting to eat fruit instead of candy, and I told someone that, and they were like, you got to be careful with fruit. There's a lot of sugar in fruit. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll let you know when we hit that point. You know, it's like, let me meet your fat fruit friends. I'd love to meet them. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah, funny. It is very funny. He's a funny guy. Check him out. Nate Bogazzi on the internet. You'll find him. He's, he's all over the place, actually. Instagram and YouTube yes. and stuff. He's a very funny man. Anyway, five fructose myths. Maybe like, before we start that, maybe you can tell a little bit about fructose. Yeah? As opposed to... High fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it's right. totally different thing, right? Yeah. Fructose is actually natural. You can find it fruits, vegetable, honey in grains of that. But high fructose corn syrup is actually man-made, right? It means it's synthetic. But there is some fructose in that. In this, right? in the yeah. process of making it, right? So, so from fructose turn into this high fructose corn syrup, it's become chemical basically. It's very, very harmful to the body. So it's a totally different thing. And fructose is, you know, it's leading fuel to the body. Yeah. It's important, actually, for the body, for fuel. Especially during your fasting, people just think, oh, too much mm. sugar, but you need it. You're going to be mm. exercising. At New Leaf, we have three programs. Now we have the full, standard, original New Leaf program where we use juices, soups, and smoothies, fresh fruit and vegetable, organic fruit and vegetables. And then we have one where you can swap out. Uh, one is half green. Right. Okay. Basically, you have green juice in the morning okay. and a smoothie for lunch. Yeah, so when you have fruit with the fiber, then you don't have to worry about uh, too much fructose even because you have the fiber go with it. Then there's the full green. So that basically for the people who kind of like have quite a severe case of diabetes mm. or maybe like have a high sensitivity to fructose. There, is, there are people like that. Sure. You know, we have a guest who, uh, she was born in Siberia and living there all her life. Not a lot of fruit. Never <laughs> eat fruit at all in her life. <laughs> right. So like wow. 35 years, she never eat fruit. Wow. So they had a person who did not never get used to. The body doesn't get used to, to eating the, it. Yeah, the, sure. the, so these type of people have a hard time. Okay. But when you're on the full green, what happened? it kind of affects your energy a little bit because if you're going to do an exercise, you need some fuel. Yeah, I remember doing a detox once where I had very little fruit and I had to sit down in the gym in between sets because I was getting a little dizzy and, and feeling a bit nauseous. That's right, because well. that, that our program we decided decide through already. If you could do our exercise, it means morning walk, aerobic and training at 4 p.m. along with walking around and getting massage and colomer. You need a new leaf standard program. I mean, the juice in the morning, the smoothie for lunch, and soup for dinner. It activates the fat burning process. Exactly, the whole thing. Like I said, people that don't on a standard program, it means you have some sort of sensitivity, right? So this fructose is also known as monosaccharide. So monosaccharide is like it's a single molecule. So they're easy for the body to digest and process. Right. It's different than sugar. So a lot of people think, 
fructose is sugar. Right. It kind of is, but it's it not. It's two, two, totally it's different thing. It's not the thing. same. Yeah. It's totally different thing. And mm. high fructose corn syrup, you can be can be found in all the sauce, soda, anything in supermarket carry, anything at all will contain high fructose corn syrup. And the process of this, if you read about it, high fructose corn syrup even can contain mercury. You oh, actually wow. dip the corn before the process to high fructose corn syrup. They actually dip the corn in mercury. That the whole process of this so it's totally different don't mix them up so we can go to myth number one all fructose is created equal what do you think about that well i just heard you say it's not so <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's not i it's mean not, some fruits are yeah. have more glucose or rather fructose in them than others right yeah exactly like dates are heavy in in fructose and other other sweets, super well, you just know as soon as you as you bite into the thing, you know, right? You yes. know straight away. Like a a mango, a sweet Thai mango, you know, has a lot of fructose in it. But if you if you blend it with something else, you can spread it out. I mean, the whole thing is to there's a saying: don't drink the calories. Yes. You can over overdo the fruit. But I think is it like what? Ned Bagessi said, you know, it's such a good alternative. If you come from a, a you know, sweet tooth kind of person, eat a lot of sweet and candy. Yeah. And the sweet tooth fruit is such a natural, it's such a good thing to do. You know, so you don't have to worry about it. The, but the worry about it, the high fructose corn syrup or the other type of sugar. You know, like you can be 10 to 20, um, 10 to 20 grams of fructose can be found in fruit. Right. But in the soda, it can be 40. Yeah, 40%. I mean, it's 40 just gram, it, it, it's a lot more. And again, it's a different a way the body can process. You know, with, with fructose, you just walk around, you burn it all up already. But the sugar, it, it's different impact to the body, the way the body needs to process. You metabolize it quicker. Exactly. It's a big difference. So you're using it all the time. Use it all Almost the time. straight away. Right? And it's natural to the body. Yeah. The body doesn't feel as a threat or a chemical that's coming through. It's different than sugar, but the body just release all the insulin, insulin, right? Big difference. It kind of answers myth number two, which is fructose is bad for you. Yes. I don't think anyone gonna sit and binge eating mango, for example, fresh mango. If you kind of, that kind of person, very, very rare, you have to eat the fruit as a meal, you know? I don't think people will gain weight or become ill from eating too much fruit. They might eat everything else already. You know what I mean? You might eat the foods and chips and fries and soda. Mm. Then they might have some fruit. Right. You know, if you have the fruit alone as a meal, it cannot be bad for you. You know, I eat fruit all the time, every day. Thai people eat fruit all mm. the time. If anyone ever been to Thailand, you would see the fruit cart everywhere. That's what we do, we eat it every day as a snack. And we never gain weight. We gain weight because we drink the calories from the teas and all that coffee that contain a lot of sugar and milk, not the fructose, not from the fruit. Joe Rogan has a comedian friend who identifies as a, an Italian American. So he has that oh. big, big Italian, you know, and he's got lots of chains and, and he's loud and he's oh rude and he cusses all the time. I don't know who he's he is so actually. I think he's a comedian, but he's a bit he's a bit like that, yeah. Oh. And he talks about <laughs> it was, it was Banana. hilarious. bananas. That's right. He talks about oh, you know, I I put on so much weight when I blended the banana versus eating the banana fresh, raw, fresh raw, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm sitting there listening to <laughs> watching this guy going. Hang on a minute. And then he, he tried to keep it straight, serious. Yeah, and he was serious you know, about we, that. We're he, waiting a laugh coming, but it. Doesn't count. He was serious about that. Yeah. Exactly. Like blending the banana made him put on weight, but eating it raw didn't. And I'm thinking, it, it'd have to be the volume, right? Yes. I want you to think about the source of information as well. You know, mm. no discrimination of people, the oversized people, but if the, the source is say, oh, this is not healthy when they're that big, and then they say, oh, this is too much sugar, then have to think twice, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not right. Maybe you have to double check the information, right? Banana is banana. Of course, you're going to sit and blend five banana in one go. It's going to be too much in the body. Three right? times a day. <laughs> and three times a day. So it has 15 bananas yeah, a day. It's easier to eat something in liquid other than to eat actual banana. Sure, yeah. And question our information too. Yeah, for, by all means. 
you know, we've been in this uh, for a long time. And fruit and, and nutrition, it's a nutritional detox that we do. We, we, we detox with nutrition. The body needs the nutrients yes. to burn the fat. Me, personally, believe something natural is actually good for you. You should question something that's not natural. Like that's something that man made, like maybe some dairy product, like mm. cheese and all that stuff, rather than orange. Myth number three is fructose causes diabetes. Yes. That's, that's a bit far-fetched, right? It's kind of far-fetched. People, you know? people believe that, actually. The reason why this it become a myth, because when you've got diabetes already, then you have a hard time process all type of sugar, including fructose. So this gets heaped into that. Yeah, exactly. The sugar. Oh, it's sugar, glucose, fructose, yeah. processed sugar, brown sugar, raw sugar, white sugar. Yeah. It's all the same. But, yes. but it because isn't. Because when you've got it already, then you have to be careful. But we have a lot of get with diabetes come, and they be able to do a standard program with juice, normal juice, and fruit smoothie for lunch. Because you use it all up. Because when you do the walk, you do aerobic, you do the exercise, you need the fuel. We get on to myth number four, and we kind of answered this a little bit earlier, where we talked about the difference between high fructose corn syrup and fructose are completely different things. You need to hear that again. They are completely different things. And fructose, myth number four, fructose is only found in sweets. Where does that come from? When something relates with the sweet taste contain fructose, but then people that assume they didn't think with sugar and fructose, but it's different. Fructose is monosaccharide. It's different than the sugar. Myth number five is all fruits contain high levels of fructose. That's mango alone. If a green mango have way less mm. fructose than yellow mango. Sure. You know? And guava, you know, have hardly, less, hardly, hardly anything. anything. Right? And the only people don't know, if we talk about vitamin C, guava have way more vitamin C than orange, mm. you know. So what I think what happened is people just think anything sweet, the fruit sweet, therefore contains right. fructose. So if anyone on a diet, I think fruit, it should be a safe option, a snack. As a snack, As yeah, a snack. for sure, yeah. You know, like apple, roast apple, guava, green mango, watermelon, all this are fantastic for you. How, how does that do with triggering a craving, though? You know, like, a lot of time when you have salad, it's great to have salad, but sometimes you feel full, there, yeah. but not satisfied. Mm. And then as, as a human being, we want something more. Mm. So after the salad, if you have the mixed plate of fruit platter, you know, you can have some sort of berries and you have antioxidants and have some, you know, apple with fiber, mm. guava for the vitamin C. Is it like so amazing? Show me your fat fruit friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I love that. That's so Yeah, so I funny. eat fruit every day, you know, every day. Yeah. I love it. If you'd like to subscribe to our podcast, you can do so at New Leaf Wellness Podcast. We're pretty much everywhere on all the podcast platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, at New Leaf Wellness Podcast. And thanks very much for today. Thank Let's you go guys. over the five myths. Myth number one. All fructose is created equal. Yeah, uh, which is incorrect. Number two. Fructose is bad for you. Also um, incorrect. <laughs> number three. Fructose causes diabetes. Not incorrect. necessarily. Not, it's no, incorrect. No. It, it could if you ate a lot of... Durian. Yeah. Durian, okay, durian fruit. Yeah, jackfruit, durian, mm. mango, and you just binge eating this thing. Non-stop. Non-stop. On top of your normal meal, then might be. Okay, number four. Fructose is only found in sweets. Five. All fruits contain high levels of fructose. Thanks very much. And Thank we'll you. have another podcast coming up for you really soon. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.